tonight. I had a really good haul. Look what I got. You did. Let's see what we can do for the day. Hungry, slightly slit, sick, very tired. I think that's why we're kind of moping around. Um, how much fuel do I have? Just two. Man, I have a lot of stuff, but... Surprisingly, not that much fuel? I guess I'll turn all the wood into fuel, right? It's either that or make a chair. Sorry, I think staying warm is more important than sitting in a nice chair. Let's go cook some food. Beautiful, I can make four foods. Oh, it's the art person. Uh, Melina or something like that, was it? It's very creepy the way they go off to the side. It really looks like they're trying to set, like jump out at me when I open the door or something. Um, I'm going to assume that they're going to stay there for at least a little bit. At least enough time for me to stoke the fire. It's so cold. Do I have any food left? No, that's all the... I mean fuel. That's all the fuel. Uh, let's actually go eat ourselves. <laughs> go eat ourselves. As you do. Hey, good to see you. Can we talk? Hello, Anja. Are you okay? Good to see you again. We're alive, but... My collection has been damaged during a bombing. Oh no. You lost everything? Only a part, but I don't know if I can keep the rest safe here. Listen, join me at the museum. You'd be safer there, and you could help me secure the exhibits. But this is my home. And what about the man I'm taking care of? He's not well yet, and he might not survive the way there. I brought you some meds and food for him. I'll be waiting for you in the museum. Try to get there when you think you're ready. Okay, so that's kind of our end goal. Move somewhere better once Reuben is okay enough to move. Meds for a stranger. Milena brought us some meds and offered a place in her museum. But a trip like that can be risky at the moment. We can move there once my companion gets better. And with Milena's gift, the task should be easier. Thank you. I'll think about it. Just remember, artworks you keep in your shed might be more precious than life. I don't know. Our heritage is priceless. Never forget that. I think that's the big question that's posed in Fading Embers. This is all about art, right? We have this incredible collection of art that is meaningful to us and to other people. And save it, break it up, use it for heat. You know, what do you do with it when you're this desperate? I mean, I always tend towards thinking things are just, objects are just things. People are so much more important than things. So that leans me really heavily towards break the stuff and use it for fuel if you need it. If you absolutely need it to survive. But only if it's necessary, of course. But at the same time, these are important cultural artifacts. I get that. So they are important in a wider sense. Just because of what they contribute to culture and to history, but... They're also things, and I think people are more important. Okay, so we have some... We have some medicine? Right, uh, oh, I get, I don't have any more fuel to put in there, actually. But, um, how are you doing? You're very hungry and, of course, ill. Let's get you some food. You really should eat something. Mm. 
Now they're just hungry. Let's give them more food. Between this and medicine, I think they'll be all right. Yeah, not hungry at all now. Now, medicine. You'll get better, Reuben. Just take some of these. Terminally ill, on meds, recovering. Okay, so they should recover faster. I would imagine. Let's speak with them. How are you today? My wound hurts. Badly. When I was sneaking out from the synagogue, a soldier saw me and started shooting. I hope you get better soon. How did you end up here? Now, first, I tried to reach our institute, but the army was already there. Killing my people. Destroying our legacy. I ran, bleeding and freezing in the snowstorm. I wandered through a forest. You got lost. I didn't have a clue where I was, but I knew death was coming. Next thing I remember was I was lying on this bed with you taking care of me. Thank you. That was the least I could do. Have some rest now, Reuben. So we don't need any food. Nobody needs any food. And I think we still have... Yeah, one left. Let's check the radio. Nothing new there. Some of our listeners report that the military has been committing acts of violence towards civilians. The spokesman for the military denies. Of course. Oh, I think the music will actually keep playing if we leave it there. But I'm going to stop it because, you know, YouTube, copyright. Um... We're cold. Let's use some components to make fuel. Can I make two things of fuel? Yeah. Can stoke this thing up to six again. Stoked. Hmm. Oh, do we have more medicine? Yes. Should I take it myself? I'm slightly sick. I suppose I should. Might as well, you know, head it off at the pass while I'm slightly sick before I'm just stuck in bed, dying. Oh, is our food done or... Or what? I thought I planted more. Yes, I didn't. Hmm. Anyway, I have a decent number of vegetables. I kind of need more raw food, really. So I'm wondering if I should make more vegetables or herbs. I'm still going to do vegetables. Still don't have a shovel, but let's see how much digging out we can get done today. I don't think I have anything else to do for the day. I didn't even get it half done. Okay. Oh, so I can just change shelter to the Bagoran Museum. I should make sure that Ruben is well enough to make his way through the blizzard and shelling. They definitely are not right now. Um, I think Anja should just sleep. They're very tired. And we're all on meds. We're not hungry. Yeah. Let's sleep. The night was calm. Apart from the echo of distant shots. 
Let us hope it won't get worse. Mm, Ruben is now severely ill instead of terminally ill. And we're tired instead of very tired. Ooh. My stomach is rumbling. Looks like I can just continue this later. Who's knocking? Um, can you move Ruben? You can't. I still can't move Ruben. Oh, you're the trader. Oh, I have stuff to trade now, right? Like alcohol? How's the situation in the city? Well, it seems to be harder than ever. This harsh winter is driving people to the edge. The army attacks are more frequent and brutal every day. You mean the bombardments? Not just them. The soldiers have started to enter the city now. They're carrying out cleansing raids, targeting churches and other important places. Jesus. Last night, the city hall fell. It was turned into ashes. That's terrible. How long can our people carry on like this? Honestly? I don't know. It's really bad. People are freezing and starving. Soon I won't have anything to trade, or people to trade with. So... Moonshine and jewelry are the things I want to trade with. Let's just throw those... Whoop, throw those in there. And see how much I can get for it. definitely want fuel. It's also super cheap. You can have it for almost nothing. Yes, please. Filter? I don't think I want that. I have a good amount of vegetables. Herbal mitts. Oh, oh, raw food. Absolutely want that. I guess herbal meds I should probably take. Oof. Those are apparently worth quite a bit. Well, I have more to trade. That's fine. Yeah, let's trade some stuff I don't care about. Gunpowder. Sugar. Come on. Gun parts. There we go. Okay. Thank you. Let's go make more fuel. I don't have any wood. I guess I just have all the fuel that I'm going to have, don't I? Which is how many? Two fuel? That's too little. I'm going to turn my last bits of components into fuel. And then stoke the fire and make some more food. anymore. Let's make some more. Then I can feed Reuben with this and have one left over. Ah, oh, the fire's down to three. Dang it. I really need wood. Can we find like a lumber yard? That'd be great. I think I only have two pieces of fuel left. No, just one. Oof. Alright, let's give some food to Reuben, speak with them. Also give them the herbal medication? Can I not give them the herbal medication? It says they're still severely ill. But I don't see it on this list here. Huh. Here you go, buddy. Neither of us are hungry. Day four. Anja kept safe the things I saved from the synagogue. They might not be very valuable as art, but they are unique and priceless for our community. Now with so many of my people dead, saving the memory of them is my main objective, and things such as these are part of that memory. 
So the fact that it says smoker abstinent, I think that means if I brought them some cigarettes, they would probably like that a lot and it would do a lot for improving their morale. Friends, my people all dead. Oh, I had the wrong character selected. Wait, can we talk more? Getting better, Reuben? I think so. But how are you dealing with all this? I'm used to being on my own. But it's actually nice to have someone around for a change. You were here alone? Even before the war? My parents died when I was a little child. Grandpa raised me. But he passed shortly before the war. Sorry to hear that. At least he didn't have to see everything going to hell. He was a very sensitive man with an artistic spirit. Was he an artist? A local one. He sculpted and painted mostly traditional... Motives? Like, I'm pretty sure it's motifs. Isn't that supposed to be spelled with an F? He left me with a great collection. Brings me many memories. I hope you'll show me some of it when I get better. Sure thing. You better get some rest then. Also, I hope some of it's left by the time you wake up. I don't have to burn it all. Yeah, I looked it up. It, I think it should be motif. It... I think it was Merriam-Webster did list motive as a synonym, but I don't really... It doesn't feel right. If it's technically correct, then it's at least... A very, very odd choice of word. Anyway, I know what they mean. That's the most important part. Okay, just one more. I think we'll have time to finish this today. Oh, let's look at Anja's bio. Day three. The wounded man woke up today for a moment. His name is Reuben, and he survived the pogrom in the synagogue. He's still very weak, so I didn't learn much, but once he gets better... I hope he can tell me more about what happened. Day four, Reuben talked to me again about his escape from the synagogue and the massacre in the Samuel Institute. These attacks must have been coordinated, a cleansing targeted at their community. He managed to save some things and sneak them out in his backpack. They must be really important for him. I better secure them with the rest of my collection. Almost got it. All right, let's secure this stuff. Phew, I did it. Light and water sculpture. Oh, look at that. An abstract sculpture handcrafted by Anja's grandfather in his later years. In this series of sculptures, he wanted to combine nature motifs with contemporary trends. So... Yeah, just put them all into box, I think. Family photo album. Collection of family photos documenting the lives of several generations. It includes memories of Anja's childhood spent with her grandpa, and some rare photos of her parents together. A painting. A Renaissance oil painting of the Bagoran landscape from the so-called Golden Age of Vicenna, allegedly commissioned directly by a royal council. It's the most valuable painting Anja's family kept in their collection for generations. Oh, I can't fit that into the box. Um. Can I? I guess those are probably the most important things, but can I come back for another box? I think it's just a time management thing. I th yeah, I think I can come back and do the other one. And I think I'm gonna have to wreck some, um, some art to get some fuel. It's so cold and I have zero fuel. In fact, I have so little time. I don't think I have time to secure the other thing today, actually. Uh oh. Okay, yeah, I need to wreck something. 
I burned that. Oof. Um. Let's do this, this sculpture. Sorry, sculpture. Car from a block of oak. Oh no, this is gonna haunt my dreams for sure. I know. Come on, we better get this fast. Can I get up here in time? Please get to it before the end of the night, as in I begin at 8 p.m. Oh, I think it might. Mm. Run, 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 run. No. Oh, I got one in. <laughs> okay. All right, we got a scavenge. I could guard. Maybe that would increase the chance that the last piece of art that I didn't manage to store stays safe. But I need to scavenge. I can't just keep burning all our stuff. I need to go find some wood. Can't get there due to the harsh weather conditions. So I can go to the neighbor's house. Are they still alive? They wanted food. Did they want raw food or vegetables okay? I'm sure they would accept this, wouldn't they? What if they're dead? Fuck. The only thing here, though, is some tools. Like, that's not going to cut it. I'm sorry. I got to go somewhere else. Let's go to the Samuel Institute. My neighbor Tito told me about the people who gathered here, helping each other in their community, sharing food with those in need, and handing out meds and other supplies. Let's go here. God, I hope Tito isn't dead. They might be. It's been four days since I've been there. Shh. Strange, it's so quiet here. Yeah, I don't think this place is operating anymore. It's barred from the other side. It won't budge. Something's blocking from the other side. Can I... Wait, what can I do, though? Oh, this place is huge. I mean, I don't... Oh, you can get up there. Oh. It's kind of hard to tell where you can go where you can't sometimes. A dead man lying on the floor. Man, the soldiers or bandits or something. I don't know. Probably soldiers came and killed these people that are... Providing aid to people. Sick. A dead body lying in a pool of blood. A single bullet shattered his head. Looks like a cold-blooded killing. More bodies down here. Something terrible must have happened. I think they're gone, so I'm going to be a little bit less careful here. Let's just unbar it, I guess. There's somebody down there. Okay, let's be more careful. Oh, can't go that way. Fridge? Yes. That's an exciting sight. But yeah, there's somebody right below us about. Some food. Nice. Do I want to see who's down there? I guess. Oh, it's just a rat. It's just a rat. Whew. Wood? Good. That's what I need. Oh, 
Another body and even more priceless artwork smashed to pieces. What a tragedy. More and more dead bodies lie among the total destruction. Many religious objects were intentionally desecrated. Ooh, I don't quite have room for all of it. Well, what is the top priority? A Nettian vase. Looks like there's something that survived this attack. Okay, take it, definitely. Let's dump the single part. That's not worth much. Oh wait, did I loot this? Yeah. Two things of jewelry, that's very valuable. Dump the electric part. Alright, is there anything else I can do here? Because lots of stuff is barred. Can I... Oh, sh sweet. Sh sweet. Herbal meds. That's pretty valuable. Let's dump the sugar. Another body lies surrounded by complete chaos. All those books, furniture, and ceremonial items were burnt or smashed into pieces. Oh, there's another artifact here. War crimes documentation. Yep, take it. It's really cool that we're not just, we're not just desperately trying to survive, but we're also actively acting as a preservationist, I guess. I don't know if that's a real word, but yeah, we're, we're actively trying to preserve everything that those fucking soldiers are trying to destroy. Clean water's nice. Should I dump components? I could dump one wood. Uh, I'll dump components. Yeah, I'll unbar this, make it easier to get back in. Uh, this is definitely a place we'll want to come back to and loot again. We don't have anywhere near the space to loot everything. Weapon parts, eh. Oh my god, look at that background. It's locked. Shit. There's probably good stuff up there then. I think that's it. We're full. We've unbarred a lot of doors. Yeah, let's run to exit. I hope Ruben didn't die during the night because I didn't stoke the fire all the way. I tried. I tried. I hope her artwork didn't get destroyed, the one we didn't secure. Day seven. They're still alive. I saw them talking. Poor people. I hope Reuben won't decide to go there. Reuben is pale and coughing all the time. He looks severely sick. Did you get more sick? Severely ill. I don't remember how ill they were before. They're recovering though, but medication would be good. Anyway. Um, I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode, so I hope you've enjoyed so far, and when I return, we'll continue on Day 7. <laughs>